So the next concept that we will see is a full text search, right? So what is a full text search? So this is basically used when you want to search a particular keyword from your column, right? Basically used in uh, you know e-commerce platform in which you search for products, right? These products and its title and its description are actually stored in the database, right? So when you type something in the URL, it goes to the database and a search is performed, right? Something similar to that is given by MySQL is called as a full text search, right? So with this full text search, what we can do is if we have a lot of uh, text in the database column, we can use certain keywords to search for a particular row, right? So we will take example and we will see, right? So here is example of a full text search, right? So what I'm doing is I'm trying to create a table, right? Which has an ID and it has a title and it has a content, right? It is an articles table in which there are articles and it has a title and it has a it has some text content, right? And what I'm saying is title and content make it as a full text columns, right? Now what will happen is once I make this two as full text columns, I can use keywords to search content from the particular columns, right? So what I will do, I will execute this one. Right, so table is created. Right now, I will insert some dummy data into this one. Right, so I have some data here. I will select all and I will run this one. Right, I will remove this one. I will do a select star from articles. Right, I will run this one. So, if you see here, it is some articles which has title of Node.js and content related to Node.js. Right, so if you hover over this one you will see some uh, text description given on this column, right? And I have marked title and content as full text search, right? <clears throat> now, what I want to do is, I want to filter out all columns in which I have restful, the keyword restful, right? Select start from articles where match, match what title and content because this is my full text search columns against against what against a particular keyword right so search for restful keyword in title and content and give me the result right so i will run the query so i have one one article which has id 2 right in which i have the keyword restful in the title Right? That's why I am getting this column. Right now, say for example, I want to use Node.js. In how many articles I have Node.js as my keyword? Right, so I'll run this one. And if you see, all of them have Node.js keywords in title and content fields. Right, so this is what full text search helps us in doing. It will help us in finding the content which matches a particular keyword. Right. Now, this against function takes another value like how I want to search. There are two options one is in natural language search, one is in binary search, right? So, what is a natural language search? So, natural language search is like as if I am uh, using proper English grammar, as if I am talking to the uh, search box, right? As if I am trying to uh, create a proper English communication, right? That is what, or a natural communication, right? So, for example, I will say, so here, the, here is the example, select star from articles, where match title and column as usual, because this is the full text search columns against, this is the natural language keyword, right? Commonly used framework for building web APIs, right? And what I'm saying in natural language mode. Right now, natural language mode means just like how we uh, usually communicate in our day to day talk, right? In natural language, right? That's what natural language means, right? So I'm saying against a particular keyword 
in natural language mode right now if i run this one i will get all the result right which matches this particular keyword right uh, so how this keyword matching happens so if i have given one or more uh, matching keywords it will find all the rows that matches the keyword one as well as the row that matches keyword two right so so for example here i have a keyword called testing right so i'll say testing and i will use another keyword real time right so i will say real time right so what should be my result this row number 3 or article number 3 and testing is on article number 5 right so this keyword and this keyword right it will try to match all the rows that matches this keyword and it will try to match all the row that matches this keyword as well as this keyword right so if i run this one if you see here the real time came here right because i have used the keyword real time and testing came from this keyword testing right so that's how the keyword search happens right it's basically and condition so filter all rows in which i have keyword testing and keyword real keyword time right similar to natural language mode we have boolean mode right so what happens in boolean mode here we cannot pass string like in natural language or like day-to-day -day communication i will show you how we will pass the keywords right so here what i will do in instead of natural language mode i will say boolean mode right here what i will do I want to search for two keywords right now what i want to say is both the keyword should exist so what i will say plus i will say plus node.js plus real real time so what this will do this will filter this keyword as well as this keyword right so if i run this one i will get node.js and real time right so a row in which we have both node.js as well as real time it will filter out that is boolean mode right so we will take one more example so we have say for example node.js and i want to exclude right i want to exclude that means i will say minus i will say securing right so if you see here if you check the articles right we have a keyword called securing right so what i am saying here give me all columns in which i have keyword node.js but it should not have the keyword securing right so if i run this one i should not get row 4 but everything else i should get right so if i run this one see row number 4 is removed everything else i got right so that's how boolean mode will work so for plus if you add plus it will include that if you add minus it will exclude that right now we will see how we can find the relevance score so what is the meaning of uh, relevance so relevance is a so here the relevance score means for a particular given keyword how relevant is the column definition that i have with me right so let us take an example for this one right so what i am doing is i am selecting id title and content match title and content because these are the full text columns against keyword node.js as relevance right so this against gives me the relevance score right so for a particular keyword say node.js how relevant are all the columns right so if i run this query i'll get the relevance score right so if you see here node.js here relevant score is some zeros and five six five six right say five six five seven five six five seven here it is three seven seven one and three seven seven one 
so the higher is the relevant score the better it will come in your search result right so here this relevant score is higher than this one that means here the keyword node.js is more powerful uh, or it occurs more number of times compared to here and here right it still occurs it's not like it doesn't occur but it occurs less or it occurs late in the string that's why the relevance score is here greater than this last two right so that is the meaning of relevance score right so we will take one more example say for example testing if you see keyword testing is present here and here but if you see we don't have testing keyword anywhere else in the title and content right so if i say testing right what do you think will be the relevance score for others and what will be the relevance score for column for row 5 right let us see so if you see relevance score here the relevance score is 1.4 right and others have a relevance score of 0 that means if the relevance score is 0 that means this keyword does not occur in id 1 2 3 4 but it occurs very strongly in id 5 right so we will take one more example say for example react right none of the article talks about react right in this table example right so what do you think will be relevance score here if i run this one if you see all the relevance score are zero that means this particular keyword is not relevant to any of the rows in my articles table right so that's what relevance score will give us so this is the very basic overview of full text search right